Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a commission for another Cindy Lauper doll. This one is the cover of the Time After Time album. So to start out, I'm using a wig cap to do the base of a tank top that she's wearing in the uh, cover. It's a like an off-the-shoulder tank top with fringe, and I heated up the edges with a lighter just to make sure that they don't fray, and it kind of melts that nylon. So I'll be showing just a little bit of the costume, but today's video is mainly a face-up video. So I attached fringe up the front of it. I also added some pom-poms that I don't show here to the bottom a little bit later when I realized that that was part of the look on the cover. So I'm heating up the edges of those that fringe as well so it doesn't unravel. And then I just went up the front and the back of the top. So for the rest of the costume, I made a pencil skirt and just a ton of jewelry, and you'll see that in the final looks at the end of the video. So for the face-up, I started out with about four coats of Mr. Super Clear UV Cut Flat. And then I start with the shape of the eyes. Cindy Lauper has very few lines, and her, her facial features are just very soft and roundish. So I'm very delicate with the shading that I do. Just a little bit of contouring in certain areas, but, but very reserved with that. And I'm blending that out with a Q-tip and a little bit of Colorless Blender. And then I'm going in with an angled brush to do some highlighting on the nose, forehead, cheeks, and chin. This was back in the 80s, but she was ahead of her time with, it looked like she was always wearing some highlighter in a lot of her pictures. As I'm recording this, I'm noticing a lot of burns and cuts on my hands. I'm so sorry. I have been working so hard to prepare for this convention in Charlotte, North Carolina, and just trying to finish up commissions at the same time as getting together this collection. So I've been working like 12, 15 hours a day or more just trying to get these dolls done. And I've been enjoying every minute, minute of it, but it has been a lot of work and I haven't been paying attention to how my hands look in the video so I'm so sorry so most of the all of actually all of the Cindy dolls that I've done have a similar lip shape I really like this kind of pouty look that she has and it just kind of goes well with the doll and reflects her personality so that's the lip shape that I'm sticking with but I'm doing a little bit of a different color shading that out a little bit differently to match the lips that stick that she's wearing in the cover photo her coloring in the color photo, coloring in the cover photo, was sort of a, a more of a coppery colors in her eyeshadow and lips, and then a, uh, her cheeks were a little bit more pink. So you'll see me pull that out later. She has some smoky eyes with that are kind of winged out a little bit. I think I went a little bit too far there, so I backed it up with some colorless blender and a Q-tip, and then I may have erased it a little bit, but. Uh, just trying to control that winging out just a little bit better. I've really been enjoying using this very tiny water or this brush by Princeton. It's a very small round brush. And it, I'm not sure of the number, but I guess if you pause it, you can kind of see what number it is. But it's been doing really well with contouring the little tiny areas and also. Uh, doing her eyeshadow and sometimes the lips so uh, I use it for just about everything lately <laughs> except for the cheeks that I'm using my typical wet and wild blush or eyeshadow brush from the dollar store I will always use that I, I think because the bristles are so soft and they're perfect for blush so I'm blending out the brush blush with a little bit of colorless blender on a q-tip and you can see how that tones that down nicely So 
So for the pencils that I'm using today, I'm using a combination of the Caran d'Ache Super Color, the Derwent Watercolor Pencils, which are my usually my go-to, and then a couple of Faber-Castell here and there. And then I have been using more heavily my Caran d'Ache Museum Aquarelle, which I usually reserve for my most precious dolls, but I've been using that more often because I guess because I've been doing a lot of commissions and I just, I don't like to have things that I'm not using. So breaking out those good ones. I'm using this brown color for her eyebrows. And I'm shaping the eyebrows out. I added a little dot just to make sure I'm symmetrical where I start. And then I just go back and forth to try to keep them the same shape and size. And I get the initial shape with the pan pastel and then I'll use an eraser to shape them up a little bit. And then I go back in with my watercolor pencil to add the individual hairs. This one I'm using the Caran d'Ache Super Color in brown. And then going back on some of the other lines, I'm using the Museum Aquarelle. Doing some highlights with my Derwent White. And adding a little blush at the inner corners of the eyebrow line. So at this point I would have given her about three coats of Mr. Super Clear in between just to protect the work that I've done in case I need to do any erasing. And I'm starting in on the irises, getting a nice outline, and then starting to blend into the center with white. Then I'll add just a little bit of detail, like little lines and such and the pupil. So at the time this video will be posted, I'll probably be reopened for commission. So if you're interested in being on the wait list, uh, contact me via social media or email. Feel free to contact me and I can give you a quote for what you're looking for. I will also, at the time I have this video out, should have a stock of, re or my Etsy shop should be restocked. So check that out. And the products that I use are in the description box below. Please stay tuned for just a few minutes at the end of this video for the final looks. And I hope everybody has a great day. If you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.